it controls the volume for the whole PC. Just by me, I'm actually lowering or raising the remote, which is so cool. Hey, it's Matt from MatthewGoronsky.com. What is the best presentation tool or clicker uh, for using uh, presentations in front of your class, specifically for music teachers? Or, you know what, this can work for uh, any teachers, um, no matter what subject you teach. Um, and as you can see, I'm actually walking through, um, this is kind of our new classroom here um, at my school. Um, this is the former band room, um, and we're in the process of converting it uh, into uh, our chorus room. This actually was an old, um, elementary school building, an old kindergarten in like the early 1900s. Like, I don't know if you can see that there's a fireplace back there. Um, and we we're trying to move out old uh, band, uh, band instrument storage cages and stuff. But I want to, uh, to show you this cool little uh, clicker here. Um, and I have a link below in the description of this video because um, I was talking to my students the other day um, about uh, my frustration in that I like to walk around my classroom, kind of like how I'm doing right now. Um, I love to walk around my classroom room um, and you know just kind of monitor student participation and actually even when we're singing when we're doing vocal warm-ups in particular um, and I'm going to show you some of the tools that I use actually um, I love being able to kind of make my way around the classroom but my, my main frustration is um, you can see up here this is the projector that's in front of the class um, and again don't mind <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the, 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 the paint chips and, and things falling <laughs> down. Uh, believe it or not, this class has come a long way um, in converting it from an old band room. We used to have like this dirty rug that was on the floor that was, you know, had a bunch of like spit valve uh, <laughs> leakage in it from over the years. We've come a long way. But again, um, my main frustration has been, uh, you know, how can I interact with this board? This is an interactive board um, and we do have, whoops, we do have this little pen here that I can select and I could right now, I, I can actually, you know, press on this video on the board and, and it'll play. Like, you know, I, I guess you could say most smart boards have this ability, but I was telling my students, you know what, I wish they had something some kind of a, a, a clicker for like a PowerPoint presentation where I can be anywhere in the room and, uh, and interact with the board in front of me. Um, and that's what we have right here. So this little clicker here has been a game changer, okay? Um, and I'm really excited because this is not just your typical, um, your typical PowerPoint presenter where you can kind of, you know, click through slideshows. Um, this is actually an interactive mouse that also has a laser pointer built in. <laughs> and yes, can still work for your typical uh, presentations in, uh, in in front of your class. All right, so this is a closer look at um, this clicker here, this presenter clicker, as you can see. It's wireless, it comes in this box, um, and it comes with this remote, and it takes uh, two uh, AAA batteries. I have two rechargeable AAA batteries in here. Um, and in the back of this, it actually contains this little uh, receiver here. Um, now, if you've ever used a wireless mouse, this is your, your typical receiver that, that plugs into the USB of whatever computer you're using. Or if you're a Mac user like me, you have to find one of these crazy dongles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just to make it plug in there. Um, although, hey, I, I love I love my, my Apple products. In any case, this is my school's um, uh, desktop PC here. I'm gonna plug in this receiver right here. Oh man, what is it with uh, USBs? Okay, there we go. So um, I'm plugging that in. As you can hear from my computer, um, it's registered there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this little button here. I don't know if you can see this on the camera here. I'm gonna click this button and this is gonna unfreeze my cursor there. And as, I don't know if you could see there, but now I'm controlling where the cursor is moving by moving around this controller, right? So now the cool thing is it's not, it's not working by me pointing it at the screen. It's actually, it has like some kind of a built-in gyroscope so that it senses the direction that I'm moving the controller, which is really great. Now I'm gonna show you this in my, uh, in front of my, my class uh, projected, but let's just take a closer look at some of the other buttons here. So you have your power on and off um, for the clicker. Um, this basically freezes the cursor or unfreezes the cursor. Um, your normal left click, like on a mouse, you know, for selecting something, uh, the right click, 
you have a built-in laser pointer, which is really, really helpful when I'm moving around the classroom and I can just point at something on the board. Um, you have up and down, so I can scroll up and down a page or uh, I guess in, in like a PowerPoint uh, presentation. You have volume control, sifting through tabs. So there's a bunch of options on, on this remote. So I'm gonna show you this uh, in action um, in, in front of uh, the class. And oh, side note here. Um, this is actually my mask um, that I'm using uh, in, in my classroom right now. Um, in case you're still wearing a mask, uh, I have this little silicone um, liner that I use with all my masks, and I love it because it, it keeps the the uh, the material of the mask off of my face. And I teach choir, um, so it's super helpful um, in helping in, uh, helping my students better understand me. So um, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll include a link to these uh, silicone brackets as well below. But let's let's take a closer look um, at this remote in action. So I have my little remote here. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button here and I want you to uh, just see what happens on the projected screen here. So when I press this button here, notice now I have control. So I am moving around. Let me see if I could show the remote uh, and the cursor at the same time. Um, I am moving around the remote and it's pretty sensitive. Um, I'm just moving this around, uh, controlling the cursor um, as I'm walking around. And just so you see how far this, I would say that this, um, because I've used this receiver from, and let me freeze freeze the cursor again. Um, I am pretty far from my desk right now. I would say I'm about, oh man, at, at least 20 feet away from my desk. And I've used this, I would say, man, maybe, I, I think on the, the box it might say it goes up to like 40, 50 feet. Uh, so it, I've never really had uh, too many issues with um, with this reaching the, re the receiver. But again, I'm just gonna click it and I can control it. And right here, this is actually, um, let me just walk you through some of the resources that I might use um, in a typical class. And I'm controlling this all, let me just make sure you can see this. I'm controlling this all from from this, this clicker in my hand. So um, what I love about this is now, let's say I have, welcome to today's epic war. My choir is warm up here, you playing. So I can now move around the room while I can still control the cursor. So if I want to, if I want to pause the video for whatever reason, I can do that from any point in the room. Um, now, also, what I love about this, let me uh, have this warm up play again. I can actually control the volume. So I'm going to hit this volume button down here, and it controls the volume for the whole PC. Just by me, I'm actually lowering or raising the remote, which is so cool. So as the warm-up is playing, if I want to hear more of my choir, I'll just lower it while they're singing, or I can completely mute it, or gradually raise the volume just by controlling this. It's so cool. I love that feature. Um, and again, what I love about using this with uh, the resources, and I'll, I'll link these uh, warm-ups and uh, all these resources below in the description of the video, is now I'm able to um, to move around the classroom. I'm listening to my vocalists warm up, making sure that they're participating. I'm sometimes handling uh, attendance or other issues. Um, and I'm able to, to walk around the class while having this uh, remote in my hand. Um, and it's just really, really, it's just been incredible. Um, so let me show you, so after we do a warm-up, maybe we'll do a sightseeing example. And again, the same the same features built in. I can now, I can skim through. This is called 70 Second Solfege. Um, I could skim through later on into the video. This is very easy. And again, I'm just doing this all with this remote in my hand. Um, and again, the volume feature, let me just show you. And the volume is down here. And I'm just, while I'm holding that button, lowering and raising the volume. And I can go back to the clicker here. I can pause it. And oh, I almost forgot to show you. Again, we have this laser pointer here. So I can point to a specific part. And I don't know if you can kind of see this on the video, but it's very bright um, here in the class. And I can kind of, you know, use the laser pointer to show a certain area in the music if I want to. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see the laser pointer more um, that way. Um, and also I can click between tabs. And one of my favorites, so let's say, uh, and I'm just kind of walking you through my uh, typical class 
uh, the beginning of my class, we'll do uh, you know, a warm-up video, we might do a sightseeing example, and then we'll get into some theory before we dive into um, our uh, into, into our regular you know, uh, rehearsal with repertoire. So this is the latest update to, uh, to Three Minute Theory, in case you haven't seen this. This is our interactive menu here. And oh man, this is just so great, again, with this clicker, um, because what I do, so let's say we're working on rhythm here, um, and let's say we're going over uh, eighth notes. I could just select this chapter, instantly brings it up. And again, I'm controlling this all from the same remote, so I can be anywhere in the room. And what I sometimes like to do is I'll just go like right in the back, you know, because uh, maybe my tenors are back here, um, and I could just kind of stand in the classroom all the way back here, and I can still control this no problem. So I'm going to click How many here. beats does a half note receive in four four time? How many beats does a half note and receive this is, in four This is probably my time. favorite uh, feature of this remote. So notice I'm in the back of the classroom, and I love using this with three minute theory. So all those teachers who are using three minute theory out there, you got it. You got to get this remote. It's so cool. So now I don't have to be in front of the classroom for this. I can be anywhere in the classroom using this remote, and now I can select the correct answer. So how many beats does a half note receive in four four time? Right. So I'm going to select by clicking the the left button here, like a regular mouse click, and let's see. Two beats. That is correct. There we go. Four four time a half and note. I'm going to click anywhere in this video to to instantly just pause it. Um, and again, you have the, the laser pointer built in there too. This is just so great. I am, I'm, I'm just so thrilled with this remote. Um, and I just, I had to make this, this quick little video just sharing this with you and showing you how I use this with my resources because the combination of using these, you know, whether it's the, the warm up videos, the sight singing, um, or the, uh, now for three minute theory, this remote has been, I just gotta say, it's, it's a game changer um, in, in my classrooms. So definitely check it out. Um, I will also link all of the resources uh, that you see here. Um, um, again, just I just thought I would pass this along, and I think it's fairly cheap. I think I got this for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, so definitely check it out, um, and thank you so much for watching.